coming from another country and being by myself, the best part was to make new friends and create new experiences on a new culture. Clark High School did that for me. So uh, I made a lot of friends. I'm still friends with them. So that was very important for me. I was ready to finish high school in Colombia. I didn't know any English. So I registered for school and they told me I had to do a lot of credits and I didn't know how the system worked here. So they said, okay, you're a freshman. And once I started seeing what the program was, I, oh, I've seen this, this is pretty easy. Oh, so what I did is that I kind of challenged and freshman, sophomore, six months and junior, senior. And uh, so 1991, I graduated and I moved to the United States in 89. So just a little over a year and a half, I, I had to finish high school. I come from a family of entrepreneurs, you know, my, my dad, my grandfather, but there was all, always something in me that I wanted to do a business. When I left the military in 1995 or so, I started my first pizza restaurant in, here in San Antonio. It was called Frank and Company, it was a coffee shop, and then I opened up a pizza restaurant called The Great American Pizza Factory. Big mouthful. The great, thank you for calling The Great American Pizza Factory. <laughs> The highlight of my career, now the, the business has been now my longest experience. You know, I've been in business for 14 years. That's longer than I was in the military. Go to college before joining the military, uh, I think would have made a lot of things easier um, on the career choice that I, that I made. I, I wish I would have stayed in the military and finished that career, learn more, you know, just put more in here. When the underdog or the less qualified or makes it and succeeds of whatever they try and they're willing to, to use that to teach others, the David against the Goliath, I, I like that. 